what does it mean to face our own destruction? That is a painful place to be. The truth is we're in a lot of trouble. Due to the way we live, we're being paid back. We've sown the wind and reaped the whirlwind. The science is really irrefutable now and humanity is in one hell of a serious mess. A massive terrorist bomb went off in the city of London today as police were trying to clear the area. The force of the explosion shattered hundreds of windows, sending glass showering down in the streets below. The farthest corner away from the street from Bishopsgate was still standing. The rest was completely destroyed, just rubble, glass and brick and dust. From out of that rubble and from out of that catastrophe was this opportunity to build something completely new, a centre for peace and reconciliation. Climate breakdown is going to be the biggest driver of conflict and the biggest driver of migration that this world has ever seen. It's really critical that we stand in solidarity with people of all races and faiths and nations around the world who are already experiencing the impact of this. And the big question is, can we use this unfolding catastrophe to deeply realise our interdependence with each other and with Earth and begin to live from that place? For me, it's about connecting with others who are waking up to the situation we're in that requires resilience, surrender and openness. Facing the reality of climate breakdown, it's asking us to face our death. But the gift on some level is, it's asking us to do that collectively. Looking at what serves us in our lives in facing this reality, what we need to let go of, what really matters. It's about living more collaboratively, sharing more, and it's about coming into a different relationship with creation, with Earth, understanding the infinite preciousness of this beauty and this life. I think this is a time to, to love the Earth, to love each other, to share and to collaborate, and to do it now.